Welcome back to Guns.com, everybody. I'm Ben Brown, and today I have an epic comparison video for you. As we all know, the pistol caliber carbine craze is white hot right now. I have two contestants that are very popular. First off, you've seen the CZ, this CZ Scorpion on the channel a number of times. It's my personal one. It's in the K configuration. I had this barrel chopped down before the new micro variants came out. The micro variants are going to come with around a four inch barrel. This has just under a five inch barrel. Very small, compact package. Great, great gun. This thing has been wonderful. One of my favorites. If you want to get really small, the contender today is the SIG Copperhead. This is a branch off from the MPX line from SIG. This thing is really, really tiny. Three and a half inch barrel on this. That's the same length barrel as a Glock 26. I gotta say, I've had a really great time running this gun. This is a really fun gun. I like it. When we talk about PCCs, the big advantage with them is the fact that you can get them in a very small compact package. What they lack in firepower, they make up in concealability. Both these are very small and I think are great, great options. If we're talking about the manual of arms, if you're an AR-15 user, you run a lot of AR-15s, the Copperhead's gonna be a little bit more natural for you. The fire controls, the way you manipulate the gun, very similar to an AR-15. These controls on the Copperhead are fully ambidextrous. Your bolt release, mag release, safety, you can run from either side. Scorpion, if you're more of an MP5 type individual, the manual of arms is gonna be probably a little bit more your preference for the Scorpion. The charging handle is off to the side. It's non-reciprocating, it's towards the front of the gun. The big advantage with the Scorpion is it has a last round fold open where the MP5 doesn't. So mag release for the Scorpion, it uses a paddle, so you kind of have to strip the mags out of there. It does not have a button. Safety is ambidextrous. The operating system between these two guns are gonna be different. The CZ Scorpion uses the, uses the more commonly direct blowback from the nine millimeter, while the Copperhead has a piston in it. Now this at, that piston adds to the weight of the Copperhead. At four and a half pounds unloaded, when I first picked this up, I was surprised at how heavy it was because it looks so small. So keep in mind, there is a piston in the Copperhead and it does add some weight. Not a ton of weight, again, four and a half pounds unloaded. This Scorpion over here is gonna be just over five pounds, but I think the Scorpion just feels a little bit more balanced. Keep that in mind, Scorpion's direct blowback, Copperhead has a piston system. Both ran 100% reliable, and I don't think you'll have any issues with reliability with either of these guns. Both these guns are gonna come with a 20 round magazine. The Copperhead uses a magazine that's made by Lancer. It does have metal feed lips. The Scorpion mags are a little on the weak side. They have polymer feed lips, which have a tendency to break. Now I haven't broken any yet, but I can see where they're starting to wear and they might break in the future. There are aftermarket magazines that fix that problem for the Scorpion, but just be aware if you leave magazines loaded for a long time or you use them a lot on the Scorpion, just make sure you're checking for the fractures at the feed lips because it is an all polymer design. When we're talking about accessories for these guns, there is obviously a lot of aftermarket support for the Scorpion already. It's been out for a while. Not so much for the Copperhead. And when we're putting these accessories on the Copperhead, you don't have a lot of real estate. There is a full flat top Picatinny rail, as you can see, but there's nothing off to the three, six, and nine o'clock. So if you're gonna run something on this, you gotta run it on the top. The Scorpion, I have an M-lock rail here, so I can run stuff pretty much anywhere I want, in addition to the full flat top as you see here. So if you're a guy that likes to run a lot of different components on your sub gun, the Copperhead doesn't give you a ton of options, but the Scorpion will give you basically anything you want. The biggest factor for a lot of you is probably gonna be price point. The CZ Scorpion Micro you can find for around $1,100, $1,200. If you want a full size version, you can probably find it for under $1,000. The Copperhead is supposed to be a more affordable version of the MPX, and that is due to the 
monolithic design of the upper receiver and the non-threaded barrel. There's less machining involved for this platform. One downside is you can't suppress the copperhead where you could suppress the CZ. So you're gonna save a little money over at MPX with the copperhead. Price point on these is around $1,400, $1,500. So a little bit higher price point for the copperhead compared to the CZ Scorpion. Guys, I really, really like both these guns. It's a hard decision for me to choose which one I like better. I've run the Scorpion for a long time, but since I've gotten my hands on this Copperhead, I have really, really liked running it. It is, it is a fun, small little gun. Leave me a comment down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Do you guys like the Copperhead better or the Scorpion? This is gonna be interesting. Let's talk about it. Leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to guns.com. We have a lot of great content coming out all the time. Thank you to Ammunition To Go for supplying American Eagle 9mm 115 grain for this review. If you guys need affordable ammo in a hurry, go to ammunitiontogo.com. Those guys are a big supporter here at guns.com. Thank you so much. My name is Ben. We'll see you on the next video.